Hello everyone, I'm here today with a new process video and I figured since it's September and I have finished up some other projects I had, I'm going to start on my Denver trip album. So yay! I took this trip in early May of this year and I've just had stuff sitting around that I've gathered. It's just been sitting around since then. I feel like it's, it's time to work on it now. So this is going to be another six by eight pocket page album. That's predominantly what I do now. So this will be my normal format. And I apologize for this over here. <laughs> That's actually the arm. You can see the shadow of the arm that holds my camera. I normally don't record at this time of day and I've got a weird shadow over here. <laughs> it's quite prominent and I tried moving the camera and adjusting stuff, it didn't work. So we're just gonna roll with it today. But here is the opening page that I plan to use. So I've got two three by fours up here and a four by six pocket. I've already picked out what I'm going to do. And interestingly, I do not have any pictures for this page. <laughs> Normally I would, uh, but this is actually kind of just the introduction on why I was taking the trip. And then just a little copy of my boarding pass thing. And then the pictures actually will start on the next layout. So it's kind of odd, there are no pictures, but I think it'll be fine. I have picked out these elements. This is from a kit by Coco Daisy. And when I saw it, I've just been holding on to this geotag. I love it that it's green and blue and it's got two different patterns, awesome. And then these are actually digital files and I bought them from an Etsy seller. And I can't remember the name, I'm sorry. I can't remember it without looking, but they're from the same person. And so this is a whole set of suitcases in different colors. This is a whole set of cameras, this style in different colors. So I printed them and cut them out and I am trying to think of how can I work these all onto this card. I'm not sure that I can pull that off, but I'm gonna give it a try. So this is all the stuff I'm starting with and we'll see how it goes. I'm starting with the green card here and I won't be doing much with this other than writing in the date and journaling. So this one will be super easy and I'm just taking info right off of here. So it was May 8th and interestingly this trip I flew out the 8th, I flew back the 9th. <laughs> so yeah, it was quite the whirlwind. So I landed at, well you can kind of see here, does it say on here I landed? Oh yep, 10.02 in the morning. And I left the next day, the 9th at, I wanna say four. I have to look up that info in the afternoon. So yeah. It was um, interesting because I was there, I think, maybe a total of 30 hours, but that's okay. I had some very specific things to do when I was taking the trip, so that's fine. So really, I'm just going to put the starting date in here and drop it in the pocket because I'll do my whole journaling here later once I figure out exactly what I want to say. So I put the date on there and put the card in the page protector and it's just going to sit there now because that's all that's happening with that one. Now I want to move on to this card. I know I want this suitcase on here and I think when I put it on I will outline it in black so that it brings in the black that's on here and on here and then I definitely want this geotag and so I'm thinking the upper left corner and then I'm wondering if I can just tuck this in like that. I don't like these next to each other but I need to figure out a way to either tuck it or overlap it or, or something. <laughs> I want it's cute and I want that green element in there somewhere I'm just not sure I'm gonna play around with it but I know I want these all on there somewhere so I attached the suitcase and the geotang and then outlined the only problem is look at that right there I had a little boo-boo <laughs> I was going a little too fast and my pen just like slid out from the corner it's not super noticeable it does bother me though a little bit. So I'm gonna see if I can find some kind of a phrase sticker, or maybe something that I can just overlap a little bit right here to maybe cover that up. I'm not sure. I think this camera is too big and that's a weird placement if I were to use that. I just, I don't, I don't like that. So I'm gonna see if I can find a phrase or a sticker or something to cover that up, but that will still work with the design. I pulled out a bunch of things in my stash of travel stuff. 
and I decided not to use anything that's over here, but I found these words. And I thought I could either use the one that says flying, or maybe this one that says getaway, just to overlap that little part and cover up that little snafu that I have. So I'm gonna pick one of those and I will attach it. I chose the one that says getaway and I actually really like it. I almost wish I had just done that, <laughs> even if I didn't have a boo-boo under there. I'm extra happy that it hides that, but I really like the way it looks. So I think I'm gonna leave this one as is, and then I'm gonna have to work this camera into the bottom pocket somehow. So let's see, I'll put this in here. I don't think I'm gonna ink the outside edge, so this one should be able to just go right in the pocket. Yep, so that's how it looks so far. And then I just have to put together the elements that go in the bottom section. And this card, I really want to say it's from the Project Life app. I can tell I printed it myself, but I just don't know. I don't remember for sure. But I just liked it because since I did fly, it you know gives that impression here with this. And then to put my boarding pass on there, just it goes with the whole theme. So I liked it. I've attached the boarding pass on there. I decided to put it more to the left hand side because when this is all in the page together, I didn't want white on top of white. This at least gives it a little angle. And then because I have green on this side, I'm going to use the camera over here. Now I have decided I'm going to cover up this poor little bear. If you've never flown Frontier, they have animals on the tail of all their planes. And so this little guy here is bear. I think I'm gonna have to cover him up because <laughs> I want to put my camera like right there but I also think I need something else down here this is too blank so I think I need some kind of little embellishment cluster here or a word sticker or phrase sticker coming out from the side or, or something I'm just not sure yet so I'm gonna start by attaching the camera and then I'll see what else I can find in my stash I found these lovely rub-ons in my stash and these are fairly new it's from the Here and, there, Here and There line by Crate Paper, so it's been out maybe, I don't know, six months maybe? And I've kind of been hoarding them, haven't used them, but I thought I could use maybe just these arrows and put it kind of in this lower right-hand corner so that it shows you're taking off, but also it encourages you to turn the page and see what will be on the next page. So I'm gonna try those. I haven't used robots in a while, and some of them work really well and some of them don't. So I'm hoping this transfers nicely and that nothing bad happens, so wish me luck. So I've placed the rub on onto the card. Here comes the true test. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. I hope it works. Remember back in the day when rub ons were just all the rage and everybody had to have them? <sighs> you know, I like the idea of them, but they have to go on well in order for me to really like them. If they don't go on well and they're a pain or they only come off halfway, that's a big problem. So I'm hoping that these will work well. I have had them sitting around for a little while, but not super long. So let's lift up just a little bit and see if it worked. Oh, it did, yay. No problems there and I like the way it looks. So I am happy with the way the card looks. However, I was staring at this camera with this heart in the middle and I really wanna put a heart puffy sticker on there and I know I have some so I just have to hunt them down and then I'm gonna see if I have one that's the right size to fit in there I found these in my stash these are from an old citrus twist kit that I had I think from last year maybe even the year before it doesn't say and I think I want to use one of these that's quite a bit bigger than what it shows here but I think if it overlaps a little bit it'll be fine so I'm just gonna go for it Ta-da! It did overlap it, but it completely covered the heart that was underneath it. And I really like it. I like the pop of color. I like the dimension that it gives. Everything else here is pretty flat. So if I can have a little bit of something that's raised, that's cool. So I'm going to put it in the pocket here because I think I'm done with it. Yes, yeah, so there it is. So my first page for my Denver album is done. Thanks for watching, everybody.